who is a celebrity that you'd like to get married to right now let's say you just you could just force them you don't they don't even need to like you just say okay I'm getting married to Leonardo DiCaprio or somebody I'll just get married to Tupac but he's dead Tupac <laughs> what do I so do you like those kind of guys yeah I like you like no, I like that like, like, like gangster like <laughs> Okay, uh, start by uh, just telling us who you are. Um, so, my name is Andre Clausen. Um, I've been a model since 2019. Hi, my name is Almain Chivote. I am 23 years old and I am a law slash business admin student. So this dress is a gorgeous Vietnamese lace dress. A-line, it goes for 9,500. And it's perfect. It literally is the most subtle, glamorous dress I've ever seen. We have mesh here that matches the model's color so perfectly. It has a little bit of a peak over here as you can see and it really just accentuates her body. It gives her a proper hourglass figure, not too tight around the knees so she can walk perfectly. It's actually one of the most comfortable dresses we probably have in store. How do you feel in this dress? I'm so pretty. Really? Like a princess. Like a princess. It's giving me princess. It literally is. Yeah. It's so subtle and so elegant. I really like this color on you as well. So my name is Andre Clausen. Um, I've been a model since 2019. So yeah, I like it very much. <laughs> but you know, it has its ups and downs. Okay, what's, what's the ups and downs of modeling? It's like the exposure you get as a model, you know, you get to do stuff like interviews or, you know, you travel. But the downs come with, uh, I think, your mindset, you know. Sometimes, you know, people are just negative and then they rub that off on you. And so you, you just lose your confidence in being a model. Would you say that you are a positive person or a negative person? Mm, I'm a very negative person. Negative? Why? Why is that? <laughs> Because I doubt myself a lot, you know. You doubt yourself? Mm -hmm. You don't have like self-confidence? Nope. It's one thing I struggle with the most. That's why like I'm pushing myself to be like a model, you know. Even though it's hard, I'm just trying to, you know. Um, in the business world, obviously there are a lot of people that walk in. They're not going to say it, but they kind of doubt your ability, especially because I'm a young black woman. They really doubt the fact that you're even able to perform. And that is the most... Um, I'd say satisfying thing, knowing that I'm going to surprise you, you know, you're going to get your dress and you're going to be like surprised by the quality, surprised by how good I'm excelling as a young black woman. Okay, so our next dress is a really special one. Her name is Alice. She goes for 17,000 and she is absolutely stunning, but you can be the judge of that. Come on out. Ooh. It's giving me garden, it's giving me forest, yeah. really, royal yeah, wedding royal time. wedding in like the Queen's Garden. Yeah. Totally, totally. So how do you feel in this dress? I love this dress. Really? I really love it. And What's your favorite part of it? I think the legs at the back. Uh-huh. Like, <laughs> it really, it, it cinches everything yeah, in. It shows like, you know, mm -hmm. and then I love the off shoulder. Yeah. So then I don't have to wear any jewels, you know, yeah, it's just, just me. You are the jewel. You are the jewel. <laughs> Does it cost a lot to, to rent at a place like this? Or? Yeah, um, we did have some negotiations with our landlord because uh, my brother does own the store right next to it. So he brought it down um, about this much. But it's definitely costly. I mean, rent is costly almost everywhere in Bentuk. So how much uh, dresses must you sell? To break even. Yeah, to break even. One. What? No. Literally one. Because if my rent is 9000 and all my dresses start at 9000 I mean, I just sell one dress and rent is paid. Electricity is in the rent. Um, water is in the rent. So you just sell one dress and then it's... Wow. Yeah. So you're really going with like uh, high cost I'm, margin. I'm literally thinking of selling the cheapest dress. That's what I'm working on. If I sell the cheapest dress, I've broken even for the month. So how, how many dresses do you sell per month? Like what's... I can go to four. I've sold three this month already, and they're all between the price range of 20,000 and 30. Uh, would you say that you're mixed, or are you just pure Namibian, like uh, 
No, I'm pure Namibian. Yeah, but you're not mixed with like white and black or anything like that. Wow. So which tribe do you come from? <laughs> Colored. Colored? Yes. Okay, so the people which don't know that, what is what what would that if you can define that? Well, in Namibia, it's actually called Pastor. So, you know, we were like the Germans and the I think the Nama people, I'm not sure. Tamara, yeah. Yeah, but like we are a combined combination or like yeah. Mm. We just mix but you don't call it a mixed combination, you just call it pasta. Alright, so to my right, we have a gorgeous Italian chiffon dress. Just like the bride wanted, she wanted something, you know, floral, she wanted something loose and wavy for her reception, so we got her into a gorgeous purple chiffon dress. How do you feel in this dress? Amazing. Right? It's nice and light, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, I love the color on you, it's actually absolutely gorgeous. And to my left, we have a gorgeous Arabian studded dress now this one is a showstopper this is one of our most elegant evening gowns and as you can see you're definitely dressed for your ex's wedding am i right <laughs> and he's gonna be like i don't know if i do anymore <laughs> so yes this is our arabian pieces or one of them and all of our dresses here are exclusive so we only have two of one and after the two we discontinue the design so you really have the exclusivity you really have only i wore it isn't that right? How do you feel in this dress? Sexy. Right? <laughs> I love it on you actually. It's such a gorgeous color. I actually don't believe in like marriage because how do I put this? Like I've seen like couples, you know, that are married and you know, it just doesn't look like it's working for them. What? You don't believe in like the fairy tale getting the right man? I don't believe in that. How would you say that Namibian men are? <laughs> Are they charming or are they like kind of douchebaggy or? Kind of douchebaggy. They are? Yeah. Okay, not, not all of them, but okay. from my experience, yeah, some of them are. Okay, let's play with the scenario. Let's say that you got married. Okay. Um, who do you think would, would uh, be paying for it? My mom. Your mom? Yes. Okay. So is it like cattle which you get also or is it? Like... Oh, no, we don't do those things. Okay, so it's very modern. Mm. Okay, but do you guys hang out like, uh, like at the tribal places, you know? Yeah. Wait, you guys don't get labola? No, we don't do labola. Okay, what is labola? Tell, tell us. Labola is when you, you give cattle to the, the, how do you say, to the bride's parents for her, like, they exchange. Them. In my culture, and I don't feel, I don't hope my people get offended. We are very greedy, so. <laughs> <laughs> if they divorce each other, wow. they will go ask their things back, you know. Wow, so you get half the cattle back when you divorce? <laughs> nah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow, shit, that's crazy. Have you been to a lot of weddings? Yeah, I've, I've been to a fair amount of weddings. I'm usually the serial bridesmaid. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I've Never the bride. bride. Never the bride, <laughs> but always the bridesmaid. Shout out Eminem. <laughs> Would you want to be a bride one day? Um... Next question. <laughs> In the very far future, perhaps. <laughs>